Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and we're gonna have to get get to the point get get to the point Get to the point Dale Chanel's four days word get on to the point well, I'm gonna break it down to you all because I don't see I don't understand and I don't like what I am seeing here I'm Getting this commentary from page six Okay, and a lovely lady by the name of Jessica Bennett wrote the story the title goes in Nene Leaks enjoys girls night out with homegirl Wendy Williams. Okay. Now I'm just like, let me like, well, hold, wait, wait a minute. Then he said, I got to get myself together. Yeah. I'm going to go high. high yeah. That's what she said, y'all. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Wasn't it like Larry Curly and Mo or what was it? Charlie's Angels. Uh, what it like the three musketeers running around here? What the hell happened to Tamar? I thought it was the three of them, the three musketeers. Now we got Tweety Dog 20 d or we got Freaky Frat, or we got Tom and Jerry. I don't understand. I really don't understand. Now, these two women, one of them is a gossip columnist. Y'all know she goes in just like I do. She's been ahead of the game longer than I have been, but she goes in. She put the gossip out there on the street. She tells her side of the story, gives her opinion. And then she just let loose and let y'all have it. Okay? Pretty much that's what I do on a daily basis. I just started my YouTube channel a little later. But I'm playing catch up. Okay? But getting back to the point at hand, the referencing we got going on over here, as y'all can see, photos of these two women. When did they become close? I'm just trying to check it out. When did they become friends? How many of us have them friends? You know what I'm saying? The ones we can depend on. Let's be friends. <sighs> Honey, I'm like, did they hang out with Houdini or something? I'm trying to figure it all out, guys. Okay? Because I'm looking at them. They were arch nemesis some time ago. They were in the headlines because Wendy kept giving her advice to how Nene was acting on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was kind of nice, nasty, giving her praise <laughs> or kudos, okay? Now, she done divorced Cabin, or in the midst of divorces, uh, her husband Cabin Hunter. And now she's just trying to swing and be with everybody. But Nene ain't no single woman. She got a married man. She's a married woman. She has a husband at home. That's totally different than a line life. Uh, Wendy is li Wendy is living. Okay, so I'm thinking, Nene, have you lost your mind? Have you bumped your head, honey? Wendy gonna get you in a lot of trouble, and you gonna be divorced, and Greg gonna take you for every little penny he can get his hands on, cause he's already retired, honey. He just sitting up there waiting and waiting and anticipating for you to make the wrong move, and then Greg gonna be at the lawyer knocking. You probably gonna get Eva's husband. Uh, Mr. Sterling, <laughs> Nene, you better slow your roll, girl. Nene, uh, Wendy, we ain't gonna get you in some trouble, cause she's hot to try, and she's uh single out there, or she's acting like she's single. The divorce papers ain't really been filed yet. Why well, they've been filed, but they haven't been like set in stone that she is a divorced woman, unless I'm wrong. Fact checkers, can y'all check me out, update me if I'm wrong on my statement of saying Wendy Williams is not a free woman yet, okay? In the eyes of the law, we the people want to know. Me, I specifically want to know. I haven't heard anything about she got her divorce decree and she's single. Hell, she's been living like she's single ever since she threw Kevin out of the house, out of her company, <laughs> just out of everything. And then she's been slight, uh, nasty, trying to get on Shireen, which is her ex-husband, soon-to-be ex-husband's baby mama. Try to uh shade her. I'm like, ah, uh -uh, you should have that shade shade a long time ago when you first knew he was creeping on your behind. So this is all a, a dollar too late, too short. You're coming up short with it. But getting back to you, Nene, and me trying to figure out what you're doing. Are you clout chasing, honey? Are you trying to rise a little higher up there on the totem pole of entertainment? Is Wendy Williams helping you open up doors that were Pretty much closed shit. Huh. What is your angle, Nene? Because I don't think you care for Wendy Williams that well. I can't say. 
for a friend, okay? <sighs> Meaning you don't make friends, okay? You make associates and you make contacts and you take all that to the bank and go home and laugh with Greg, okay, about it. So uh, I haven't researched this angle that you got going on with Wendy Williams. So give me a little time. Give me a little time, Nene. The holidays are coming up. I'll be relaxing. So I can probably uh, sit down and just contemplate on you and Wendy's relationship here and there. Okay. But going back, getting back to the article because we don't want to tear it too long. Okay. Uh, As I said, a young lady by the name of Jessica Bennett, she brought out the story today on pages six platform. Okay. Gossip entertainment platform. And it is titled, Nene Leakes Enjoys Girls Night Out with Homegirl, Wendy Williams. Like, Wendy Williams become your homegirl, girl. But anyway, let's go on. It says, uh, it's a cute little picture of her and uh, Wendy. Wendy kind of look like she's under the influence. I ain't saying it too much, but if y'all go to Nene Leakes' Instagram account, you'll see a cute little picture of her. She's leaning in on um Wendy's head like that's her mother <laughs> but you know really Wendy is looking kind of like motherly there seems like she aging instead of getting younger like the rest of celebrity women out there but anyway moving on from that it says there's nothing like a true friend I'm like girl how long have you known her y'all just got back into graces of even acknowledging one another without rolling eyes and probably saying something very slick Side eye ish, you know what I'm saying? But now, Nene, you're claiming uh, <laughs> Wendy Williams is uh, your true friend. No, I think you're becoming an opportunist. You're riding on her clout and you want to get taken wherever she wants to put you and take you to, Nene. Okay, better watch out for Wendy Williams, girl. But moving on, it says, Nene took to social media Monday to share a photo of herself hanging out with talk show host Wendy Williams, claiming the daytime diva as one of her good home girls. I'm like, Nene, you make me laugh over here. You're making me choke. I mean, is she going to be a part of Bravo franchise? I know they tried to get her to be, uh, or Andy Cohen kind of introduced the idea to her because they thought Wendy's show was going under well i believe it's gonna be her last season because she needs to do something else anyway and she can do it uh on her own because she definitely had the reputation of being the gossip queen out there for the entertainment world okay the places and people she have gone and seen and been a party to how they really get down but i'm sure she had to sign some consent forms to not disclose anything that she saw or be uh in court and litigation being taken against her (laughs) Alrighty then. But anyway, she's dropping tea that Wendy Williams is her new boo, girlfriend, boo, okay? And I'm like, what happened to Marlo Hampton? What, what What's going on? Is she leaving her behind? I thought no, nobody should be left behind on Nene boat, her shield. But I see it's self-preservation up there. Nene ain't, she kicking butt and taking names. She's just trying to go higher and higher, Okay. She has the wind beneath her wings, okay? And then he flying high, flying high. All right, but anyway, getting back to the article, it says, Every girl needs a good home girl, wrote the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star on Instagram, followed by the hashtags, my homie and girls night out. All right, the pair also hung out with Rick Ross, Port of Miami 2 album release party together back in August. Their friendship has even expired leaks to host a Ladies of Success weekend in Miami this November. Wendy Williams and I talked publicly about our girls' weekend, and this was born. Ladies of Success, Beauty and Brains and Business. All Girls Weekend, November 7th to the 10th, uh, Miami, Florida. Leaks announced on her Instagram Tuesday. The main focus of this event is for successful entrepreneurs, CEOs, and all-around business-minded women across the world to network, uplift, connect, motivate, and learn ways to increase their bottom line by networking with other like-minded women. Now, I got to take pause for the calls and say, Nene, Nene, girl, why couldn't you not network with Kenya Moore? Okay, your arch nemesis. Now, if we were to go backwards in hindsight, you and Wendy Williams were at odds. Now, who 
fresh air. Breath of fresh air. Now y'all are good besties. Woo -hoo -hoo. Water under the bridge. Or should I say bridge over troubled waters? Woohoo! Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but surely, surely, everything done in the dark will come to the light and we will understand why you are cozying up to Wendy Williams. But like I said, why couldn't you have a forced or united front and friendship, business relationship to continue making your dollars, okay? With Kenya Moore as well as Candy Burris and even a little savviness of fashion tip hostess Cynthia Bailey. Okay, why could you have forged such a friendship and business relationship with them, Nene? Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black, girl? Oh, okay. Moving on from that situation, going back to the article, it said Leaks warns that the weekend would cater to women who are already eating the fruits of their labor. So what you saying, Nene? So what you what, what you saying, girl? You don't want no scrubs up in there. You don't want no uh people that ain't got enough money to even entertain you looking at them. You try to say you want all the movers and shakers that already are up to almost that four five hundred. Well, four one hundred women or force force 500 women success making a uh, million dollars plus is what you're saying so the people that are in the thousands ranges they they, they should even come huh oh nene you girl you're looking kind of piss poor as an example of being an entrepreneur don't you want to let the little people get a part of that big apple? Don't you want to have us rise up? One person helps another person? Are you still in that crap? Black it mentality syndrome, Nene. Come on, girl. I thought you were better than this. You're not showing me. You're not showing me, Nene. Your horns are showing, Nene. Going back to the article. It says, Leaks warns that the weekend would cater to women who help who are already eating the fruits of their labor, living their life and want to connect with other women who can do some of the same things they can do with the same mindset. Any ethnicity, any ethnicity anywhere in the world, you are welcome. We are going to have a fun time. Now I'm going back. I got to go back because I have to make sure I read this correctly because it seems like she's half dissing the hardworking women trying to get to that potential because if it wasn't for your platform that you've been on for several years you took a break off a season or two or maybe one and you had to come back you had to come knocking at that door okay you said in this article you want to connect and network with women who are already eating the fruits of their labor so what is the network net worth that you have to be to even fill the application out are you turning into like kenya moore only gonna be with the rich or famous and you can't do that for the poor can't do that for the underachievers who's trying to get out there and make it in this big old hostile world women don't you hear us roaring even the ones that have made it up to the temple of one million to one billion dollars do you not hear the little people climbing, wanting to come up, but yet you're swapping us down like we're flies and you got the big fly swatter. Come on, Nene. Come on, girl. You ain't giving me number bullshit. You giving me bullshit. Like I said, I call a spade a spade. Come on, Nene. You don't forgot about everybody else. Okay. You don't forgot about Marlo. You don't forgot about, well, you and Cynthia was not really on the boat together. You just had to fake it to get back on the show. You remember you came back as her invited guest, her friend. She brought you back in to the fold. And then look what you did to post Cynthia. Look what you did to her name. I'm not liking it, Nene. I'm not liking it. I'm going to digress for now. I've made my opinions on the situation. And now I want to hear from the people that view my channel. I want to know, is Nene appropriate? Is she appropriate in this situation? Should she be hanging with uh, Wendy Williams? I don't understand. Okay. Is she using Nene? Or is Nene using Wendy? I don't know. Which one do y'all think? 
y'all get on into them comments. Tell me what you think about the subject at hand. The subject matter is Nene. And is her friendship true, unique, and fostering for perse uh, perseverance and to have a unity of womanhood together with Wendy Williams? Or is she cloud chasing? And she's just trying to get to that next level, that ultimate level, that Ooh, that gold, that creme de la creme level. Like she's up in Europe somewhere running with the queens of the monarchs. You know what I'm saying? What is Nene doing out there? Because it seems like she's forgetting where she came from. She's forgetting where she came from. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about putting the poll out. Y'all go into them polls. Y'all tell me because it's the we the people have spoken. It ain't me. I just put the poll out there and y'all vote. Okay? So exercise your vote, exercise your voice. Get into them comments and let me know what you thought about the video, okay? Well, not the video per se, but the content that was put in there about the subject. All right, guys, see y'all for another video. Bye-bye.